Battlefields, source of much of the world's power. Now, what kind of power? Oil, you mummified moron. <laughs> Gasoline, fuel. Without it, the Earth would be helpless. No cars, no trucks, no trains would move. Imagine! The roads of the Earth would be filled with automobiles, but none of them moving! I must cut off the supply of fuel. Yeah, how you gonna do that? With you, you vacuous vassal! Airhead? Yes, you! You shall scare off all the workers in the oil fields! You shall stop the pumps from working! You shall cut off the fuel supply of the world, making it weak enough for me to take over! Yeah! Me! Me! Scary! Yeah! No, you're not, you pitiful pinhead. Yeah, not scary. Not yet, but you will be now. <laughs> yeah, now me scary. Yes! Now you will frighten off everyone from the oil field! Even the gulls! Busters! Uh, hey, Jake! What do you say we uh, see what's on the tube? Fine by me! Take it, Fred! We interrupt our program for this special bulletin from the Middle East, where it is reported that a giant ghostly mummy is terrorizing the oil fields. Did he say ghostly? Yeah, he said ghostly. <laughs> With a live report from the oil fields, here is reporter Jessica Ray. Hey, it's Jessica. Thank you, Ted. Well, as you can see, it is a scene of great turmoil here at the world's largest oil field. Jake! Uh, Jake, is, isn't that Airhead? Sure is, Eddie. I'd recognize that moronic mummy anywhere, but good grief! Look at the size of him! He's huge! Even as I speak, the workers are abandoning the oil fields in terror. If this keeps up, the world may soon find itself dangerously short on fuel. You hear that, Jake? Yeah! Sounds like Prime Evil's up to no good again! Let's go! Go! Don't you hear? Ooh. Flight mode, GB. Airhead scaring off all the workers in the oil fields. Oh, no! You mean my gas supply might be cut off? Hang on! Sign of the Middle East yet, Eddie? Not yet, Jake. Let's face it, we're lost. So what else is new? The way that big ape drives, we're probably over Philadelphia. <laughs> hey, good eye, Tracy. That plane. It's a Mid East Airways jet. Can you stay on his tail, Tracy? Okay, okay. I 
just meant for you to follow the plane, Tracy. <laughs> well, this is one way to save on gas. The apes get smarter. to do this is where we get off cut us loose Tracy where'd he go uh, he's so huge how can he hide I don't know but it's quiet too quiet good let's go home then yeah. Wait, guys. My specter-sniffing schnozzle senses a supernatural specter. Huh? I smell a ghost, and he's close. Real close. Uh, uh, Jake. What is it, Eddie? Uh, uh, Say it, Eddie. Ah, uh, me no like Ghostbusters. <laughs> me catch up. Oh, yeah? Well, don't count on it, Buster. Get him, Jake! No, me get you! Mommy, 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 mommy! Mommy, mommy, mommy! Yummy, 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 yummy! Airhead fall down. Yeah. Airhead wrap up Ghostbusters. Wrap up. Airhead make joke. <laughs> Saved by the skin of our teeth. You mean the skin of the banana, don't you? Yeah. Never mind what I mean. Let's go, Ghostbusters! Let's go. Let him have it, Jake. You're busted, Buster. <laughs> oh, no. It's broken. Just like we're going to be if we don't get out of here, gangway. No problem, buddy. I just hope we can make it to the ghost buggy in time. He's gaining on us. Do something, Tracy. Hey, ducky. Wow, your head feel draft. Nice work, Tracy. Fix the dematerializer and find Jessica. Maybe she'll have more information for us. Yow! behind this new giant-sized airhead, Jessica? I think it's obvious, Eddie. Airhead has already closed down several major oil fields by frightening off the workers. And the whole world needs oil for fuel. Right, Jake. Without it, the Earth will be crippled and ready for Primeval's conquest. We can't let that happen. Right you are, Eddie. 
How you coming with that dematerializer, Tracy? Found out what the problem is yet? <laughs> a broken amplifier? But without the amplifier, the dematerializer won't have enough power. <laughs> How big a ghost can we use it on? Something the size of Airhead? <laughs> the size of a man? <laughs> the size of a mouse? <laughs> How big? <laughs> Great! Airhead is a little bigger than that. We'll have to find another way to handle him, and fast, before the Earth runs out of fuel. I'll go with you when you try again. Maybe we can think of something. So, the ghost busters have showed up, have they? And their dematerializer is not working. Hmm, this could be just the break I've waited for. You what's that, old Sultan of Spectres? My chance to get two birds with one stone to weaken the Earth and capture the Ghostbusters! <laughs> Anyway, the first thing I'd better do is give Airhead some help. A sandstorm should do nicely. Yeah, <laughs> no more workers. Yeah, Airhead make desert deserted. <laughs> Airhead make joke. Okay, guys, get ready to. Primeval must have created it! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Primeval help, Airhead! I think. The sand's too heavy! We're going down! Tracy, we're falling! Do something! Okay, okay. <laughs> A harpoon? What good's that gonna do? Tracy, real slick job. We better find a place to clean up. Go to that car wash, Tracy. We can clean up there. Right. Good, we're clean again. Now let's get that mummy. Uh, there's one small problem, Jake. <laughs> All our clothes have shrunk. We'd better get back to the hotel and change. No, wait. That gives me an idea. I know how we can bust that bozo airhead. But first, of course, back to the hotel. <laughs> Stand stiff, you bring me good news, I hope. For your sake. Oh, but of course, your mystical majesty. Ah, uh, well, uh, the mummy has successfully frightened off the oil workers. I already know that, you clanking calamity. Did the sandstorm take care of the ghost busters? Well, you see, almighty oh, one. Well, speak up, you stupid robot! It's like this, so oh, merciful, Master! Yes? In a word, no! Oh, boss! Take it easy! Airhead will get them! He'd better, or I'll have that bandaged bungler rolled up for paper towels! Fields, but where's Airhead? We'll have to attract him. Ready, Tracy? <laughs> Ready. Then let her rip! <laughs> oh no! The sandstorm must have jammed the 
pumps! Attaboy, Tracy! You did it, Tracy! The pumps are going! You think this will attract Airhead, Jake? Well, I can't be sure. Hey, who's starting the pumps? But I'd say it's a pretty safe bet. Into the car, everybody. We get you now. Here he comes. Let's get out of here. We get Ghostbusters. Not too fast, Tracy. We don't want to lose him. Okay, okay. Not that slow, Tracy! Sorry. It's working! It's working! Okay, now, Tracy, you know where to go! Here it is! The car wash! All right, Tracy, now! Dematerializer. Success, Jake. Now what? Back to the hotel and change before these clothes rip again. Uh, let's get out of here before someone sees us. Wait, you guys. The newspapers will want photographs of the Ghostbusters' latest triumph. <laughs> no close! for my plans to destroy the world's oil supply. <laughs> this defeat angers me. I never want to hear about oil again. <laughs> Maybe you need a vacation, my malevolent master of meanness. <laughs> a vacation? Yes! But where could I go that I would not be reminded of oil? How about Greece? Yeah! <laughs> I hate bad jokes. I just couldn't resist it. <laughs> Hi, in today's story, the Ghostbusters were faced with a big problem. They had a big mummy to bust, and the dematerializer wasn't working. At first, it looked like an impossible problem to solve, but the Ghostbusters didn't give up. Instead, they worked at the problem until they came up with a solution. When you have a problem to solve, try not to give up on it, because maybe with a little more work, you'll be able to solve it. Bye now. See you again soon. <laughs>